Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Going to do try to do another market analysis from November 14th. Um, just wanted to let you know I just put up a video or will be putting up a video on harmonics and candles. It's, they are very noisy at this point. Um, possibly I'll even say unreliable, but I'm using them just for testing purposes, looking for any uh, patterns in any of the asset classes of CFD, Forex, and crypto. Now, what I will say for now, Marabouzas do pop up. Uh, that's the candle pattern for reversals for Forex. I just put up a video, or will be putting up that same video, that clarifies that it may be one of the more reliable uh, candle patterns out there for reversals. And what I saw over the last, let's say, 12 hours, uh, out of the four that were uh, came up on Forex did uh, were, were valid. Okay, so what I'm going to first show you is crypto because crypto is easily the most popular. Now, again, uh, we are ironing out a lot of bugs as they come up. Uh, so they're getting cleaned up as it sits. So here we are with uh, the hourly changes. Again, there's a bunch that are just getting slaughtered as usual. The uh, term now I should be using is whipsaws. BAT is just one of those. SC is another one. ZRX, ADA. Well, actually, ADA is doing all right. But um, XLM is doing all right. You can see it here up three and a bit percent. Um, but it's just amazing on the volume that it just switches over um, on this again is Binance so these are hard to gauge what is good what's not um, but as you know I, I do like to show these these charts these are hourly um, you can just clearly see here at XRP they're just wild I mean there are episodes where you can go in over a 12-hour period like here and run up these nice spikes and that's what my system looks for even up to this one uh, and uh, that's what we're looking for we do not want to get caught up in these type of trades where they do um, generate a lot of false signals you take on a trade here here you get slaughtered with that big whipsaw otherwise you may get caught up in these um, these uh, let me just blow this up and I can do that <laughs> oh no I can't um, yeah, but you get caught up in these scenarios here, which goes nowhere. Why type capital for that? You get these down moves, these whipsaws, and boom, boom, boom. And will it come back here? We don't know. Um, but uh, here you can clearly see ADA, ADA or Cardano just going nowhere, really. And again, remember, always remember, this is hourly. Okay, you can clearly see here's another one that's just kind of going nowhere. So you really want to play in these in this in these environments. Here's another one, XRP. This one back here on beginning of November. Is that November? Yep. Yeah. Let's see if this one blows up. And we can actually, yeah. Well, um, not quite. Uh, but uh, let me just go back. But clearly, you can see these moves are pretty nice. Green, mostly green, and the odd uh, red. Um, but uh, that would hopefully be a nice trade there. Um, again, we'll just not worry about this. But the Fibonacci's are good. Uh, I've not uh, implemented the um, uh, the what do you call them? The uh, harmonics and all the alerts in this asset class yet. We'll be doing it within hopefully the next 24 hours. Okay, so the only one is XRP for now, XLM, F, Ethereum. But you know what? This is just one of those things that this this asset class, mm, I don't know, not looking all that good. Okay, let's move to CFD. Okay, so this one is just... I don't even know where to start. It, well, it's not really hard hard to figure out. But when you look at the changes here, everything's just down, down only. Out of 16 entries, only three are positive. I don't even think these two are really worth even looking at to trade. But this silver, gold, 
it's doing okay. The volume's there. Um, so this is what I'd be watching as the markets just get killed. We have some defensive plays here that are are, are, are doing okay, but for a 0.25 and a 0.54 um, return, you know, I'd rather just put my coin here. The volume is in the uh, India and the German indices, but again, the volume is low for that. Everything else is getting killed. Um, so again, this 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 asset class is just kind of not going anywhere. All right, <clears throat> so here we are with uh, some other areas we could look at. I'm just showing you these charts because I think these are really important. Uh, again, these are just examples of what works, what doesn't work. Here's a German, we get a nice move. But again, why take, why even bother with this guy? The German, 30, it's downward trend here, big up, big down, but you got to perfectly time it to get anything out of it. And remember, this is hourly, 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 hourly. Again, same idea here. We got some, but it just goes flat. There's just no... Nothing to, to worth play uh, to invest in. The U.S. Uh, 30 was doing okay here. Um, uh, and that was at the beginning a few weeks ago. But again, everything's getting slaughtered, as you can see. Again, uh, <laughs> I don't even know where to begin on this stuff. Again, we're not going to worry about spreads at this point. Uh, stop loss, we're not going to worry. I'm not going to worry about the Fibonacci. Um, but here's here's some alerts. Now, again, I have mentioned this many times. Um, the time frames may be useful. It's 4419. This does get updated every hour. You could maybe look at these investments. We have some bullish Euro 30 going on. Uh, I could analyze that maybe. Let's just do that as... as um, See what else we got coming up. So, so we have Euro 30, just a lot of them. We have here again. Now this thing's going bearish, possibly. Let me just verify that. Yeah, see, it's all mixed. It's bullish and bearish. 335. Let, let me just take a look at this just as an example here. The Euro 50. Okay. So I'm not sure if this will get listed in my report that I just downloaded. Um, let me just see on the long today. Let me just check on the time. That was uh, 3.27. Let me just see here. I'm going to look at that. Uh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Now, again, these are fairly new. Let me just see. So it's only got the China 50 U.S. bond five-year. Interesting. Um, let me see if we have some. Okay, there might be some info here. You can generally judge by the size of the file. It's a five, this is a big file. So hopefully we'll find some data on the Euro 50 here. Okay. I'm just going to see what, if I should take away anything from these bullish Gartleys. Um, and do some in-depth analysis. Um, okay, so in the meantime, let's go over to the Forex. So I have talked about this numerous times. Um, the Rand and the Turkish Lira always have fairly high volume. They're very volatile. Here we have the New Zealand Japanese Yen, Turkish Lira, British against the yen. Um, again, there's not a lot to take away from this. Uh, has my file been loaded? There we are. Okay, so we're looking for the EU. EU, was it 50? Yeah, so we wanted the EU 50. It's not listed here at all. Interesting. We have the euro, US dollar, CFD. Yeah, it's not listed here. 
Hmm. Oh, there it is. It's a top pick. Okay, so let's check this out. Okay, so we want that one. So let me just do a search for it. So we have a buy signal for it. I was generated uh, roughly at the same time. Let's just see what happens here. Okay, so what we have here is... Okay, so the nice thing, it's within that Fibonacci level. Um, I can compare the volume. Here's the problem. is When I look at charts like this, um, it just tells you that we have buy signals and it moves up. Buy signal moves up. It's very, very, very choppy. But I will give you this. Upward trend is looking okay. Um, Fibonacci, it's like I can tell you if we did have a buy signal, if we had a buy signal, it's not going to move very big because you just historically, you just see it. It might get a little bit of a move, which is okay considering. But here, here, here's a positive thing. We are getting daily positive moves on the distribution here on the, on the stats. I will give you that. that, that that's okay. But here, look, look at this. 180, or, and, and this is a 180 daily view down, up, <clears throat> down and up. Too volatile, trending down. I, I, I mean the the vol. I mean it's the momentum's been slaughtered. I don't know. I don't. I, no. I, I mean, yeah, that, it is a bullish signal, but I don't know. I just don't like. Don't like it. <laughs> uh, plus, we got a bearish mixed in there as well. Nah, I, I wouldn't be paying a lot of attention to this at all. Unfortunately, this one I'd be watching the XAG, actually XAG, so we have a 335, let me just see if we can track that, XAG, uh, okay, ooh, 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 ooh. let me just see here, the XAG, USD, okay, number two, interesting, mm. this could be an interesting one too. Okay, so the XAG, I believe, is gold against the U.S. dollar. This one I could see moving. It's, it's again, moving up. Again, we, like it's already moved up. I don't know when that signal was generated, but within the last day, uh, trend up. Uh, Fibonacci, again, you may capture this kind of move here, but it's just going to be up and down a little bit here and there. I think you're just going to get... Um, uh, this one's tough to say. The daily returns is probably leaning more towards negative. So, question is here, are we on a... This is definitely a bottoming process. Um, but you can just clearly see it's like green, red, green, red, green, red. So, it's very volatile. Don't like it. There's no trend here. Uh, again, just flat out. Um, momentum slightly building as a short-term trade. There was definitely some opportunity there, 14.3 to 14.6. Yeah, it's, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, but it's just not generating. Let me see if there's any other kind of alerts for this thing. For XAG, let me just see what we have here. XAG. USD. What do we got here? Bearish, 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 bullish, bullish. Nah, nah, don't like it. No, nah, don't like it. No, 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 no. So again, uh, out of all of that, I would only, if, if anything, I'd be watching the, the XAG, um, XAU that this guy right here, XAU, XAG, gold, silver ratio. Oh, I'm sorry that the XAG, or sorry, XAG, that, I'm always thinking it's, it's gold, but it's not, it's silver, I believe. X, yeah, uh, I'm always getting these confused. Trading view, XAG, USD. Helps to type X A G U S D. 
Okay, so it's silver. Yeah, there's the confusion right there. So what I said back in that report that I thought was gold is actually silver. My apologies there. So overall, everything's right now at least defensive. This thing can turn on a dime as Asia opens up. It'd be very interesting to see where Hong Kong goes. Um, when you look at the volumes here, see Hong Kong is and India are the ones to watch here. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's just, from my point of view, uh, the, yeah, it's just interesting to see where these go. If it continues to move down later tonight, we don't know. But, um, yeah, you, I'm starting to really see, see the relationship here between the good and the bad, or I should say the cyclical and the defensives, uh, specifically for sure in, in the, um, world of uh, Forex where things go bad, uh, Norwegian Krone goes up, Huff goes up, um, also, you know, I mean, the volumes are really low, but if I go into the overall ranking, let me just show you the comparative, uh, comparative volume of what we're dealing with here. So we have 3,205. Oh, um, this is my Forex. Hmm, another bug. I always find these b bizarre bugs. Um, it don't matter right now. But, uh, yeah, like these are definitely low volume. And, um, yeah, that, from what I'm seeing, when the market goes into meltdown, the Norwegian Krone comes up, the Huff comes up. These these ones um, do have decent, well, not decent, but, but they get decent performance, but the spreads are seem to be fairly high. So I just thought I'd put all this out there. We will get better analysis as we move along and get the bugs all cleared out as well. Shall talk to you later.